is up you guys this is mini superheroes today hey guys mini superheroes today here we have the three new buildable figures from spider-man spider-man miles morales and venom and each of these retail for 25 dollars when they release on september 1st now i've got a little bit of a conundrum here because lego did send me these to review however i actually found them on my own at kohl's sooner than that so there's my Kohl's receipt. I bought these with my own money. Lego is sending them to me, but I got these ones first. So all thoughts are here. I just wanted to be honest about how I got these early. So let's start taking a look at the figures. So before we get into the sets themselves, look how cool it is that the box art actually lines up with one another. See how like this building on Venom's lines up with that one and the roof of this building connects on that one. I just thought that'd be cool to point out that the box art technically connects across all three sets. So now that brings us to our three figures. Venom is the bulkiest of the three, and the two Spider-Men have very similar builds, but they're not identical. So I did appreciate that. And I love that Peter is just slightly taller than Miles. Not by much, but just slightly, and then Venom, of course, is taller than both. I just think that's a cool little attention to detail. Now, here's the problem I have with these sets. Back when the Iron Man figure came out... My complaint was that he had nobody to, you know, like, fight against or fight with. So at least this time, the two Spider-Men can fight against Venom, and I guess Iron Man could even fight against Venom now, too. So I do like when they do, like, a whole wave like this, but the problem for me, honestly, is the price point. These are cheaper than the Iron Man figure. These are $25 a piece. However, the only problem with that is... That's almost the same price as a standard Marvel Legends figure, and I feel like you kind of get more for your money with a Marvel Legends figure, because, you know, if you only get Spider-Man here, then you only have Spider-Man. Chances are, if you like Marvel Legends, you probably have more than one. Those integrate together well, so I guess my point is, is that the price point is similar enough that I think it just depends what you're looking for out of these. Anyways, let's start reviewing them individually. So, they all basically have the same uh, articulation where you can twist them at the hips. Of course, the shoulders move. You can move the elbows, but all of their elbows are kind of fixed. See this little slanted piece right there? Kind of keeps the elbows from going too far back, but I think that actually works out pretty well. So that's identical on both sides. On the Spider-Man figures, you can position the hands so that, you know, you can have a web coming out. Or, of course, you could just take that web piece out and have the hand rest at the side like that. So that's pretty cool. We'll flip them around back so you can see. I like the red dot on the back. That kind of helps emulate the red spot on the back of Miles' suit. Then as we move down, he's kind of got like, I don't know what this is called. They're like tracked pieces where, you know, it kind of helps keep that poseable. Then we've got ball joints on both knees and on the feet. So these figures are definitely super poseable. The neck joint too, you could see there. They're definitely super poseable and look awesome. Now, uh, we'll move over to the Spider-Man figure for the next point that I want to make. So I think that it's a really great figure. You know, like I said, the Miles and Peter builds are very, very similar, but not identical. But one problem I do have is look how many printed pieces we get in this. Now, normally printed pieces are a good thing, but we get one printed piece, two, three, four five on Spider-Man, and it's just crazy to me that they'll print a big piece like, you know, these that probably will only ever be used in this one very specific set, but then we can't get, like, minifigure leg printing sometimes in the LEGO Marvel line. So I just think it's worth pointing out that LEGO does have some double standards on that, where they'll print a piece like this, but they won't give a uh, Marvel minifigure leg printing or something like that. Admittedly, that problem has gotten better over the years, so, you know, it's not really as much of an issue now, but I'm thinking more of, like, the Sanctum Sanctorum fingers. Regardless, we've got all the same posability this time around, the same web pieces, just in white for Peter, and I'll give him a spin around. I do think that on all the figures, maybe not as much on Venom, but at least on Miles and Peter, the neck joint looks really, really thin. I understand why it's like that, but I just don't know that these translate super well to this scale of figure. I do like these printed web pieces on the shins, and man, his legs are thick, aren't they? <laughs> Crazy. Now, speaking of thick, let's talk about the Venom figure, because they kept it, like, at the same price point, but he is a little bit more bulky than the other two, which I kind of appreciated. These big printed Venom pieces on the chest here, so one, two, three, four of those, We've got a big printed jaw piece as well as the head piece. And then we get more printed pieces on the back. So that's pretty cool. 
but we've got, you know, the same general posability, but for whatever reason, I think that the bulkiness of the Venom figure makes him my favorite of the three. You know, these big, giant claw hands, the tongue in the mouth. It's just a really great looking figure overall. And even though it's probably the most monotone, that's kind of what you expect from Venom. So I actually quite like that a lot. So let's zoom out and I'll give you my final thoughts on these and we'll round out this video. Well, guys, I think that if you really like the Iron Man figure from before, you're going to really like these, but I personally did not like that Iron Man figure, and these didn't really win me over either. They're fine, they're not terrible sets, but they're just not my favorite from Marvel this year. So drop a comment, let me know what you think of these three, let me know which ones you might be planning on getting. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for all the latest from LEGO Super Heroes, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.